video number 80. Still doing it. Again. <laughs> um, I'm making these videos like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know how, what else I'm going to talk about. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty, pretty shallow surface wise for material, I guess. Um, but this video, you know, making these videos, this ambitious project, you know, that sounded good at the time, um, that proved to be much harder than I thought it would be, or much more like draining or uncool or unfun than I thought it would be. Um, uh, I guess I'm able to keep doing it because of the sense of, you know, I got to keep doing it, you know, kind of work ethic, I guess um, you could call it. And that's something I picked up, I think, um, in part from uh, my parents, uh, particularly my, my mom. Well, I mean, my, my parents, you know, equally, you know, made decisions for me um, or demonstrated it. But uh, when I was six years old, you know, I was raised in a house where like, once you turn six, you had to take piano lessons. And um, I had, it was like no choice. I had to go from six to um, 18 when I graduated high school take piano lessons. Um, and at first, you know, it was something that was kind of cool, you know, play. Um, I don't particularly remember like a lot of things, but I remember my piano teacher was a Miss Hood. And uh, she, I don't know how old she really was, but she seemed like ancient. Like she was uh, kind of small, but her hands were like iron claws. I mean, she was so strong, you know, because she was professional. <laughs> and uh, her, her, her method of teaching us sometimes was to like, um, put her hands on top of our hands, you know, my hands, you know, as a kid, because my sister uh, also took from her, and smash it into the keys, you know, and uh, well, not, not, not on purpose, you know, but it, but it was like making the move, you know, to play the song. And um, there were some times where I'd be like, <laughs> she would just be doing that, I would look it off, and then she'd say, Carl, where are we in the music? You know, kind of, because she could tell I was just like, not really paying attention. <laughs> she's like, she's like, making me play like I'm a puppet. And I was like, I don't know. She's like, Carl? Yeah, <laughs> that's my impression. It's not a very nice impression. Uh, you know, she was, she was great. I don't, I don't mean to be rude, <laughs> but she sounded old. She sounded very old. Um, but, uh, you know, there were so many times when I was, you know, growing up that I wanted to quit piano. You know, I was like, this is so stupid. Like none of my other friends are doing piano, you know? It was, I don't know what the ratio is now, but I would do like competitions and I would go like, um, do like like audition not auditions like um like a state kind of competition you go play for some judges and then there's somewhere it's like a recital competition so you're like in a group setting and there's like you know like a recital but there's judges um I had to do like theory music theory scales and piano pieces but anyway um when I was there when I was always there it was like I was like one of the only guys there and um at some point, though, that got, that got to be kind of cool. <laughs> That's what I told my son recently. He's in fifth grade now. He's like, um, about something about I don't know about pay, playing piano, or maybe maybe my, maybe my my younger son. So I don't want to keep playing piano. I told him, well, once you get older, you know, you'll 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 like that part of it. <laughs> I don't mean, yeah, yeah. That was my experience. Um, but of course, I was too shy and awkward. So it's like nothing came of anything. Uh, anyway. Um, I often think about like how, how I'm grateful now because I can still play piano. You know, I was like, got up to where, like when I was taking lessons every week, um, Chopin and Mozart and Debussy and Rachmaninoff. Um, I was really in a Beethoven, of course. Um, it was good, you know, and it was like something I enjoyed doing. Got to where it's like, it was enjoyable um, and, I'm, and I'm glad I have it. And I wouldn't have had that if my parents had let me quit, you know. Um, but it's a fine line. I, mean, I, I teach, you know, I teach a lot of kids. I teach a lot of adults too. But um, to try it, and then after a while, it's like because if you stick with anything long enough, like for me right now, these videos, and even even honestly, my my teach karate teaching, it's just like gets to you get to low points where you're like completely unmotivated to do it. You don't really feel like you have any purpose of doing it, and it's just kind of, you know, what am I even doing with my life? Kind of feeling, um, and it's the discipline you know, that, that you built up in your bank of skills that will carry you through those times. At least that's been my experience. Same with, you know, sobriety and um, recovery. Um, man, so many times. Was just, but it, I just, uh, honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Um, it's hard to have big dreams when you're like treading water all the time. <laughs> um, 
But I see a lot of, you know, like I said, a lot of, a lot of kids I teach and adults as well that um, say, I really, especially like the parents will say, I really want them to keep going or her to keep going, but she, I think this is really good for them, but she just, or he or she just doesn't want to do it. And, um, and part of me is like, when before I had my own kids, it's like, well, you're the parent. You, 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 you decide. You know, it's not their choice. If you don't want them, come on, keep bringing them. <laughs> now that I'm a parent, you know, it's not, not easy. You have to know when to insist and when to let them take a step back um, with activities and things. So, I don't know. I just try to do the right thing, try to copy my parents' example. But it's like my, my mom's mother was like super strict about her practicing piano and playing music like she told me when she would go to a friend's house her mom would be like bring your piano music because you need to practice <laughs> she's like what you know that was the kind of mentality and then when i got you know it was my when i was the first born so when, when it was my turn and my mom she was strict you know she would set the kitchen timer i had to keep practicing and then like every birthday i would get i think i'd get a like a few minutes added to my bedtime and also a few minutes added to my required practice time every day. <laughs> I didn't, that didn't go on forever from like six years old till something, you know, I didn't get to hours only like three hours a day or something. But, um, you know, and not, so that was a little bit stepped down though from what my, my mom uh, experienced. And then, and then with me, it was a little step down. And, you know, I'm not of such a taskmaster when it comes to piano and um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just sometimes your kids make you crazy. <laughs> you know, and it's like, like I was talking about yesterday about the futsal with my, my youngest, and like he wants to quit, and um, you know, I, I don't know what the right thing to do is, you know, drag him to it, force him. Sometimes, yeah, I have to do that. I mean, with other things, I will, you know, put my foot down and make him like, you know, we already committed. But uh, it take you have to be real patient to do that. You got to be really really patient and um, very, like, what do you call it, thick-skinned, because all the anger and the insults and stuff that come on. But I, I mean, I had the same lash out. It's like, I hate piano. That's so stupid. I don't want to go to lessons. Miss Hood is, like, so crazy. Like, she one time, <laughs> she one time um, gave us a bag of oranges. And this, this, this is a well-known story in my house. My, my sister is a little bit younger than I is, three years old, younger than I am. We were, we were together, so we, she'd have a lesson, and I'd be doing homework and vice versa in Miss Hood's house. And she gave us a bag of oranges. And uh, she, what she said was, we, I got these oranges, but they weren't very um, juicy. So I thought maybe you guys would want them. <laughs> it was like dry ass oranges. Thanks. Appreciate it. So anyway, that's, that's my video for today. And I guess eventually you keep putting one foot in front of the other. You know, you get to where you need to be going to find out the next place so yeah i guess that's what i'll keep doing so 80 videos thanks for watching appreciate it uh, and for real um and we'll see you tomorrow hopefully i won't ramble so much but take care of yourself all right